Hi everybody, it's Christine Bertram and I'm coming to you live from the Hive on Fra... What is it, Friday? No, it's not Friday, it's Monday. I was going to say February 27th, so my F's messed me up, right? <laughs> so it's officially the start of the work week. It's Monday. Monday, Monday. <laughs> Hi, Susan Bellamy. You are the first one that I see that is here. Yay! We have a lot to share with you guys today. <laughs> I have a a little pile of stuff back there uh, of stuff to share with you. Uh, I just realized that this might be overwhelming to those of you who are relatively new to me and don't understand that I don't know how to not <laughs> make lots of classes. But that's good for you guys because then it gives you lots of opportunities to pick and choose what it is that you want to take or not take. So, <laughs> which is good, right? It's always nice to have choices. All right, so I found myself. Uh, we are officially live, you guys. If you can hit the like button, that would be awesome. This is also the video that you want to share. If you are in my Cards by Christine VIP group, um, I have a VIP group for my team and for those who purchase product from me. Hi, Dawn Ablett. If you take classes from me that are product based i do count them as well because those pr classes do include products um, so it's generally geared to, to those that purchase products um, through a class or through an order if you pay the class fee repetitively and have never bought a class for me that has product or um or have gotten an order, then I wouldn't have invited you. If you meet the criteria that you're either on my team or have purchased a class with me with the product, or if you have bought a product for me and you're not part of the VIP group, then by all means, let me know. Um, request to be part of it. It's called Cards by Christine VIP group. Uh, what I do is I share this showcase video into that VIP group. And that is the video where if you, or um, the post where if you comment that you shared this video, you get into the drawing to get a half off bundle. It used to always be the sweet bundle that was featured that month, but I've gone away from that. And I've given the winner the option to pick from my uh, stash. So Stacy Burns was the winner for I think January, and she picked the Cottage Wreaths bum bundle, and then Penny Powell won the drawing for December, and she picked Joyful Flurry, or Joyful Wishes, the, jo the snowflake set that was in the holiday catalog, so yay! So we got those two girls caught up, and now this will be the video for sharing for the March showcase. So here, um, the other thing is I did a showcase video on Friday, two-part series on Friday night, well, early evening, uh, part one and part two, from classes, uh, cards that I got from swapping and from hosting the Winter Creative Escape. And uh, all those cards are photographed and they are all now downloaded into my computer with the watermark on them. And I'm in the next week going to start scheduling all those cards to be shared into my VIP group so that if you didn't get a good screenshot of the card, little by little, I'm going to be scheduling like, <laughs> I think there's 200 cards, maybe even 300 because I haven't done the annual catalog yet. So there's going to be about probably 300 cards coming into that VIP group soon. They are going to be organized by the catalog. So annual catalog, spring mini catalog, celebration or a celebration might ro be rolled into spring. But just know if you're part of the VIP group, that's on the horizon, on the near horizon. <laughs> so that's like one of the perks of being part of that VIP group. We used to do a showcase of this featured suite um, and have extra cards. Uh, and it, it, it's a lot to manage a lot. <laughs> so, so we're trying to get back into adding a little more content into the VIP group. And that's one thing that we're going to pick up this week. So, all right. So this is the video. I haven't created the post yet to comment that it's shared. I will do that after this video is done. Uh, so hi, Dawn Ablett. I think I said hi, Dawn, but just in case I didn't. Um, so you guys, this is where you want to grab also a pen or a pencil and a little sheet of paper, or a big sheet of paper. Um, and jot notes. I kind of roll through what's coming up at a relatively decent speed. Um, and so you should take your notes. Um, the easiest way to sign up for a class that I'm talking about is to email me or text me or even Facebook message me. Um, if you want to sign up via my website, you are more than welcome to. Uh, it just is more, there are more steps. You have to 
put your name, your address, your fella tone, phone number. Like you, there's a lot of bookkeeping to register for classes and you have to do it for every class. Where if you send me an email and you say, I'd like to take this class, this class, this class, and this class, uh, then I can reply back and say, hey, I'm going to be shipping this class with this class. So you can save a little shipping on this and I can ship this class with this class and here, you know what I mean? So I can kind of um, finagle that because I kind of have it mapped out now in my head. I've gotten pretty good about mapping what classes are being kitted on what days and what can ship at the same time. Where if you pay for and register for a class on my website, you pay the full price and then I give you a shipping voucher afterwards. So yeah. So again, um, if you want to register for a class, the easiest way is just to let me know you want to take the class. I have a book where I keep track of everybody's names and um, we can always figure out later if you want to pay for the class or get it free, if that's an option. Um, I'll talk about all that as we go. Um, for those that are new to me and never have seen me or don't know anything about me, my name is Christine Bertram. I'm from Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, and I have been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator since 2013. I love to... I know I didn't start off teaching classes, you guys. It took me a couple of years to really get into it. And um, in March of 2020, I went to the online world, like a, a lots of other demonstrators did as well. We have to adapt. And so I primarily run my business both in person and online, <laughs> um, probably equally at this point. Uh, and so every class that I do is pretty much in person and online. So if you're local to me in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, or within a I had um, Nicole Herrick and her mom, Donna, came from Montello on Saturday for the class. So they drove an hour in the crazy weather <laughs> to come to class. So if you're wanting to take a trip to the Hive and take an in-person class, everybody's always welcome. Uh, if you want to fly in for a class or a retreat or anything, too, you guys, anybody's always welcome. So uh, um, hi, Jean uh, So And if you're online, um, kits are mailed to you. Um, generally, kits are mailed out um, at least six days in advance. Sometimes if I work ahead, they go out earlier, but at a minimum, let's say a class is on a Thursday, I always mail them out the previous Friday. If class is on a Monday, I mail them out the previous Tuesday. So it's six, six days, six calendar days in advance. Um, so, and then it's whatever the mail has to do, they gotta do their thing, and then it gets to you usually in time for class and not always on time. But once it's out of my hands, I, you know, we can track it and that's it. So, um, so the only time I don't, um, mail in advance is when I do my escapes and those are always afterwards. But um, generally, um, all you need are stamps, inks, and adhesives if you're at home and want to do cards with me. Uh, and I'm going to be going through what I had planned to do today with you guys is show you what is coming up for the month of March. And I even have a lot, not, I have maybe a third of April done. So we're going to share with you what I have for April already. Um, and how it works is some classes are um, can be purchased um, with a, a flat fee or they can be earned for free with a minimum order of $45. It is celebration right now. So any order over 50 could get you a free class as well as get you a free item with Stampin' Up. And I still have my celebration board. I have six, I think I was looking at it, two, four, six, seven. Um, I have seven spots left. I bet you any money we will fill that board up before the end of tomorrow night. So tomorrow night is the end of celebration at midnight mountain time. And so if there's anybody wanting to get any last celebration products, now is the time. Uh, and so uh, what else do you guys need to know? Um, if there's a class, like I do have product-based classes where it's fee only. And I sometimes do classes where they're order-based only. And I have I talk about that as we'll go through the classes. Um, I have a schedule, you guys, <laughs> in case this is very overwhelming for you. There is a printable PDF um, on my website. It is at cardsbychrisb.com. So that's my website. I know it sounds like Rice Krispies, like as with a P, but it's actually a B for my last name, which is Bertram. Um, you guys, cardsbychristine.com was already taken. So this is how we ended up with cardsbychrisb.com. That is my website where you can find um, my always my current host code. So like right now, this is the current host code. Hi, Carissa Alberts. This is the current host code in, in case you want to place an order to get a class for free. But let's say that workshop closes in a few days and you need to find the host code. It's always on my website. And to find my website, you guys just go to the internet, Chrome, DuckDuckGo, um, Google, the, like yeah, however, um, Firefox, Mozilla, whatever. There's so many different ways to get to the internet, but my website is cardsbycrispy.com. And the easiest way to find it is to click on the events link. The events link provides a calendar. So like right now it opens up to the current month of February. And every time you see a square that's gray, that's when I have a class, either in person or online. 
And then if you go to March, <laughs> oh my God, you guys, March is a little bit crazy. Um, if you click on it, you can always toggle in to get into what the class is. But underneath the picture of me wearing the yellow shirt, that is where you can always find my current host code. Um, you can copy and paste that link into your browser, or I make it so simple that all you have to do is click the word here, and it takes you right into the online store, which is stampinup.com. But the thing about clicking that word here is it actually automatically applies my host code to the web, to your order. Hi, Jeannie Parker. Hi, Linda Hodge. Hi, Sherry Martin. Hi, Deb Norman. You guys all snuck in here. Hi, Mary Ellen Ryan and Becky Rohrer and Catherine Healy and Mary Carls. Oh, my. Well, you guys all came in at the same time here. Um, so if you look at here, um, it automatically put my host code on there, right? So you don't have to copy anything. You don't have to paste anything. Um, it's right there. Um, all you have to do is get to my website and click that word here. And I always have the current one on there. Um, this is where you guys can go to look at any classes. So like March monthly class, it's out here. It has a cover photo. You can always look at close-ups of the cards like that. And then it also has for here what stamp sets are used. Um, hi, Nicole Herrick from Wisconsin. She's in Mont. Hello. Hi, Linda Hall. Um, <laughs> Nicole, I was just talking about you, that you and your mom came to class on Saturday. Um, so you guys, this has like Around the Bend, Nested Friends, and Easter Bunny. So every class that I have, I reference what stamp sets are used. That was a request a while back so that you guys would know um, what, to, what you need for stamps. Hi, Angela Knutson. Thanks for doing the thumbs up and sharing. The other thing too, you guys, is sometimes I even, let's see here, I have, if you go like to some of the classes that are product-based and the suite class, I actually put the inks and products at the very tail end of the event. So you can always see the list of products that are used. And if you click on any of them, it also takes you to my online store and it takes you right to it. Hi, Sharon Land. Hi, Pat Mater. All right. So there's a little bit of um, in the know in case you didn't know that. Uh, so um, that's events. That is pictures that you guys can see, finding the host code. Um, also, if you're not in my um, email list to get emails from me, this is where you'd come here to sign up to get my emails. Uh, so sign up for my emails. When you do that, you get all my updates on upcoming classes, uh, when there's sign up promotions, when there's sales, when there's new products, all that good stuff. And so that's where you'd sign up. And then I tag you to get emails from me after you sign up. So that's a little bit in case you guys don't know, um, my Cards by Crispy website is the holy grail of my being <laughs> of, of Cards by Christine. Um, you will not break anything by going in here and tapping anywhere you want. Uh, there's also information on joining my team in case you want to take up and take advantage of the sign up special right now. Um, there's an extra, uh, you get $175 worth of product for either $129 with a little mini machine or it's 99. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, if you click the join now button, that takes you right into the uh, screen where you need to um, fill out the information. It links you and me together. So I would be your upline. So that's a join the fun. Um, there's catalogs out here. You guys can shop for past classes and my online classes tutorials. So uh, there's a lot going on in this little website right here for you guys. Um, this is my holy grail. Um, this is always updated first. And then after events are created here, that's when I add them to Facebook. So just know if you go out in my events calendar throughout the rest of the year, I've got a lot of my skeleton classes out there. Um, the other thing here under newsletters and files, it's very important. This is where I have this bad beast right here, this bad boy. <laughs> this beast of a schedule is what I should say. You guys, I know you can't read this right now. I don't expect you to be able to read it from the camera, um, but I'm going to walk through it. If you want your own copy of this, um, you can go to my newsletters and files section. Uh, the short, short version is March through April of 2023. And then there is a, in case you want to um, have the whole year, I have a 2023 schedule, which is from January through December. It's six pages, you guys, but it breaks it down by all the monthly classes, all the sweet bundle classes. Uh, this is where you'll also find the online exclusives that start on March 1st. There's a flyer for them. I just emailed about it yesterday, and that's where the flyer comes from. This is where you can find the more um, to celebrate flyer with the extra celebration items. You guys, this is where I have the um, carryover list from the holiday catalog, sample recipes for each of the catalogs, the color coach charts, um, the autumn creative escape registration form, and the winter creative escape registration form. So you guys, this is 
There's a lot in here. <laughs> Hi, Marsha Coolabert. Uh, yes, March Stamping Madness. Okay, so you guys, that I did, I did that. I know, I know all those that are watching right now, for the most part, that I see your names are not new to me. You've been following me and working with me for a while. So you probably all know that, but I never know if you do or don't know that because I still get questions about where do I find this. And so I try to make sure I share all that information as often as I can, just because it, for you guys to know where to get that, it helps because you know where to go get the information and then you don't have to ask me for it, which I don't mind. I always love to help you guys. Um, so hi, Anique. Um, I, I don't mind helping. You guys never, ever feel like you are a burden when you ask me a question because I get that all the time. Sorry to bother you. Nope, you guys, don't be sorry. This is what I do. I love to do this. I love to help. And if you have questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Try to find the answer first. I always try to have you guys, well, did you look here first? You know, like, did you look here? Because hopefully I teach a person to fish and they can fish for life, right? Um, okay, so you guys know where to find this PDF schedule. If you um, need a copy of it, I did send out with all of my Christmas cards and all of the catalogs that I sent out in December into January, everybody that was on my list got a catalog or a schedule, I should say. If you're newer to me, hi, Stacey Burns, and you don't have this printable schedule and you don't have a printer at home, I can always mail you a schedule. Just send me an email reach out to me, ask me for a schedule. I don't mind printing them. I have a gal that I, I get copies made and she um, just sent, she just, I printed 20 of them. So you guys, I do have some schedules. Um, if you don't have the ability to print, I don't mind sending and popping in an envelope and I'll mail it to you. So, all right. Um, this PDF schedule too also is where you can find my past classes. Um, it was so awesome. Nicole was here on Saturday and she's like, what past classes do you have? I'd like to get some past classes. And then she didn't have to, so Nicole is originally, it, she is in Iowa, but visiting her mom in Mentello. So she didn't have to pay shipping then to mail any of these classes. She picked out a bunch of classes and she had a nice bag <laughs> of projects to work on. But on the back end of the schedule, you guys, I want to point out that this is where I list my past classes that are available. Um, so there's like the ink, paper, scissors, game night series. There's three card classes and then there's four or five card classes and they're listed here. Um, so if you do place an order um, using my host code and you don't want anything that's coming up, but you'd like something from the past, you are also welcome to pick past classes. Um, how it works for ordering. I just like to put this out there too. If you place an order today, you can pick a class in February or March. Hi, Judy Sharp. You can't pick a class in June or May. Um, it's always the current or April at this point. Once it hits March 1st, you can pick classes in March and April. So when you place an order with me, it's always for classes that are in the current month and the next month or past classes. Uh, the other question I get is, I'd like to sign up for two classes. Do I have to, take, do I have to place two separate $50 orders? Uh, my answer is no. I hate paying shipping just as much as you guys hate paying shipping. And when you place an order with Stampin' Up! to get Stampin' Up! products, you pay minimum $7.95 for shipping. So if your order is $50, you pay $7.95. If it's $60, it's $7.95. But once you hit the, let's say, $79.95 threshold, then it's 11%. So as long as you could combine your two $50 orders to be on one order and pay only 11% shipping, um, but you have to be able to break up your items into one order and the other order. So let's say you order a bundle, the Playing in the Rain bundle. Let's say it's like $54. That would count for one class. And then you still have to come up with $45 for the other class. The overage of like, let's say $10 from Playing in the Rain does not go to the other class. You have to be able to break the items up so that these items go to this class and these items go to this class. And I think that generally makes sense um, and that helps people. Um, if it doesn't make sense, let me know. But I, I try to make sure that these three items go to this order and these two items go to that order. Or like it needs to be broken up because if you have $100 on your order and that's only $11 for shipping, otherwise if you would have put two separate orders, it would have been eight and eight, almost $16. So it saves you $6 by combining them. And I'm okay with that as long as um, you let me know what classes you want to sign up for and that it can be broken up that way. The other thing that I get asked too is, well, what happens if I have a $150 order? Do I get the host credit like you or do I not get the host credit? Well, that's up to you. <laughs> so if you place a $150 order and you want the host credit, then technically you're not eligible to get free classes from me because you did not use the host code. And um, 
that's sad, right? Because you want to take classes with me. So, so how I have it worked out is if you do place a $150 order and you don't use the host code and you take advantage of the host credit as a thank you, I send you one class, okay? Um, if you place a $200 order and you've used the host code and did not take advantage of the host credit, I'll let you pick up multiple classes and we'll break up your order to see how many classes you can get. So it's always your discretion what you want to do. I don't care as long as you're happy with what you decide, right? So um, so that's the difference with using the host code or not using the host code. Um, you're more than welcome to use it or not use it. Um, but just know if you do use it, it means more classes. So do you want more product? for free? Or do you want classes with me for free? That's where you have to weigh your options. Okay. So I went through all the fine little details on all of that. So hopefully that makes sense to everybody. I wanted to do that, especially because I don't always do that on this showcase video. And I get a lot of new people that watch this video and I get the question a lot. Like, And so I try to um, answer all the questions up front. Okay. So are you guys ready? Hi, Jean Maxwell from Phoenix, Arizona. Are you guys ready? Because I know that normally this is about an hour long video, but you guys, just so you know, the replay will be available. So in case you got to go or you need to run and do something um, and you miss something, you can always go back and watch this at any point in time. You can stop me, shut me up, pause me, whenever you want on the replay. So as soon as I hit the end button, that's when you guys are going to be able to go back and watch. So if you need to stop, just pay attention to what minute you're at because then you can always just fast forward to that minute. Um, you guys, this video lives on the YouTube channel that I have, Cards by Christine. I did share this link to Facebook. Um, I share all of my videos to Facebook. Um, I have um, also wanted to let you know that if you are struggling with the commenting on YouTube and you used to comment on Facebook all the time and now you can't find how to comment or you, you're you lost with the YouTube, um, please reach out to me. I'm not an IT specialist by any means, but I can try to help you figure out because I love the engagement that you guys have with the commenting. I love reading and I love like reading your comments and saying hi to you. I feel like Yes, we're not in the room together, but I feel like we're connected when you comment and say hi. So I know I've lost people with the transition of Facebook Lives to YouTube's Live, YouTube's Live, YouTube's Live in October, and I don't want to miss anybody. <laughs> so, um, ah, Jeannie Parker, you are so funny. Could I start again? No. <laughs> you're being a, um, a shyster there. So Jeannie Parker is being funny. Um, but Jeannie, you're more than welcome to watch the replay. <laughs> All right, you guys. Hold me on. So, um, hi, Gwen Petrashek. You're here and we're just getting started. Yay. So I will say that this is this calendar is now up to date. The one I'm looking at is not up to date because I realized I never had the Memories and More card class on my schedule until last week. And so if you go to my PDF schedule now on my website, you guys, you will find the Memories and More class on there. But since that was updated, I realized I still, I added a whole nother series. It's called the Share, Create, Inspire series, you guys. And I have to add that now to my schedule. <laughs> and so yeah, the, the schedule, if you guys print it, just know it's always a moving target. Um, you can always know when it's recent, like the date that it's printed. So I'm looking at one from January 9th, you guys, because these are still some extra copies I have. Wow, the schedule has changed a lot since um, <laughs> January 9th. So we'll, let's hope it's all good. <laughs> so tongue in cheek Jeannie Parker. Yes. All right. So you guys, I actually am looking at the schedule from January and it still lists January and February things, which I'm going to completely ignore. Just know if you go print the new one on my website, it starts with March and April, and then it only has March and April things. Um, and so let's start with like, I have different series of classes, you guys. Um, there's the monthly card cost series that I've been doing since 2016. So seven years I've been doing this. This is my first class that I've ever done. Um, not class, like the first series. And I wasn't even calling it a series then, but we have the monthly class series and it's always the name of the month, three different cards. Um, we have a sweet bundle series. That was the second class that I ever kind of came up with series. And we've got two coming up, one for March and one for April. We've got the club classes, which do the same cards as the monthly class. There's paper pumpkin, there's ink, paper, scissors. There's let's just stamp. I added a new technique club class with um, Rose Coleman in Canada. We have a games and prizes section. I have team events, mystery card night, and then there's extras. <laughs> so that's where I have extras in each month that don't kind of fit into those categories. I call them, you guys, my ad hoc classes. Um, 
they just don't fit the bill in any of those other ones. And so I can't, I got to put them in somewhere. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start at the beginning of this schedule and we're going to talk about what's coming up for the monthly classes. And we're going to talk about March and we're, you guys, we're also going to show you what we have for April already. We have one card left to design for April. And so we'll start with the monthly class for March. Um, it, the monthly class always features three different stamp sets. They can or don't have to be bundles. Um, Sometimes it's just a single stamp set, but in this case, you guys, this one is actually, this class has three bundles. And I like to share with you um, what you might need um, for stamps because that might make the decision easier or harder for you if you wanna take a class. I know that people generally like the cards to look exactly like the cards that I've made, but just know you might not wanna buy the stamp set. And so I like to try to give you ideas of, oh, how could you make the work, the card work if you don't want or have the stamp set? Um, okay, so Nested Friends is this card right here, and it has a stamp set that's in the sp Spring Mini Catalog, and honestly, the only thing that was used from here that's really important is the bird, but you might have a different bird at home, or you might opt to just leave the bird off. What happens is you're going to stamp this bird from the white piece of paper that is underneath here, and then die cut it out. Um, you'll need a sentiment here. And these are actually colored with watercolor pencils and you just need like a gray granite or a grayish ink and the bird is stamped in brown. And so what happens is anything that I give you in the kit that is, it's either embossed or die cut is done for you. So like this is already embossed for you. Your frame is cut out, your nest is cut out, your eggs are cut out, your little label here is die cut out. So really all you need is, do you want a bird on or not? And if you have a different bird or if you have this bird, it's all good. And then I even make your teeny tiny little blue and white polka dot. No, nah, it's not a polka dot, but <laughs> you know that white bikini song, um, that little um, bow for you. So you will get the bow already made and then it, your kit comes with the gems as well. And so you'll need a sentiment. Now, on the inside is where I did use more of the, the focal image. I used the branch and I used the bird. And then actually the sentiment, wishing you all the happiness you can imagine, actually comes from hues of happiness um, because they don't have a, a good inside sentiment for in here. So that's card number one for the whoa, monthly class for March. Around the bend is this set right here. It has a die set as well. Um, honestly, all you need from this one for the outside is the a sentiment. And that's where the hello there comes from. All the rest of this is die cut for you. Thank you to, um, thanks to all my helpers, you guys, that um, Anna and Tammy and Karen and Rhonda have been already working feverishly hard at die cutting, embossing, and um, cutting the designer paper, you guys. So sentiment here in Mint Macaron, all of this will come already die cut for you. And then on the inside, just wanted to say thanks is from the set. And then the focal image on the inside is actually the corner wreath thing here. Uh, so not a lot is required for this one in terms of just a sentiment primarily and whatever you wanna do on the inside. So that's called Around the Bend. Mary Carl says, I do not believe that that's the first time I've ever heard you say no to someone. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yes, I said no to Jeannie Parker. Hi, Jen, Jen, is it Jenniel? Jenny, just look at your name here. Jenniel Payne, I found you because of Rose and I'm in Michigan, yay. So Jenniel, what part of Michigan? Because Jeannie Parker, whose comment is right above you, is from Muskegon, Michigan, as is Deanna Stell and Nancy Charles and... Um, um, Naomi Worrell, I've got a whole group there. Um, Terry Costin is out there. If you're on the east side by Livonia, I've got Becky Gandolfo out there, and I hope she has power. I just talked to Becky on Saturday. The poor girl, like there were so many people that didn't have power over on her side of Wisconsin, well, Michigan. So Jen, I think it's Janiel. I hope I said that right. Um, so if you want to connect with Stampers, you let me know, girl. All right, so Easter Bunny was used for this one. And the past, I think Pat Mater, were you the one that just, no, Pat Thomas. Oh, my gosh. Um, it was either Pat Mater or Pat Thomas that asked me just this morning, does the bunny come punched out? Yes, I am punching out the bunny for you. Now, what happens is these are photopolymer stamps. And so hopefully you can line up your stamp here if you have the stamp set and you could punch, or I mean, sorry, stamp your outline. Um, if you don't have the stamp set and don't plan to get it, um, you could also leave your bunny more um, not detailed. You could draw a little eye in for him and draw a little month and call it the end of the day. You could also color his tail white, like Peter Cottontail. Um, you're, and you guys, I did do it. I threw in two cards with the same um, 
bird's nest. <laughs> so pouring. Oh, Anna's doing 60 of each of those. So 120 of the each one. So yes, um, you'll need a sentiment and this sentiment does come from here. And the background here is just bl brushed with blending brushes with like pool party and mint macaron. And then you guys, it's a fun fold. So it opens this way and it opens that way. And then I've got happy Easter on the inside. Um, so uh, in this case, a sentiment and figuring out what you want to do with your bunny, uh, you will get him, like I mentioned, or her, it will be punched out. Um, you do not get a scrap of uh, smoky slate. You'll get a punched out bunny. All right, so that's the Easter bunny card class. You guys, this class is called the March monthly class. It is um, free with a minimum $45 order using my host code or uh, $15 for in-person or porch pickup, or it's um, $21 if you want it mailed to you. If you are local to me and want to do an order instead, it's a $30 order. The difference between the 30 and 45, you guys, I, I factor that $15 on that $15 of the extra order. The profit I make on that is what it costs to ship you your kits. <laughs> so it's like a little bit of a, a trade. You place a little bit bigger of an order and you get your kits mailed to you. Um, all right. So April then let's just look at what we have for April. So it's the same concept for April. Um, for April, um, I'll be doing an April showcase later in the month of March, but just so you know, we do have two of the cards figured out already. Um, this one features on the ocean, and all you need on the outside is a sentiment. It comes from this set, but if you have a different one. So on the inside, we've got the steering wheel and the birds. And so this card you could easily recreate without having the on the ocean stamp set. And then lighting the way was used for this one. And the sentiment is the only thing on the outside that you really need. All of this stuff will come die cut for you. Uh, I love the lantern, but lighting the way is the stamp set bundle in case you do love this card so much that you want to get the bundle yourself. Um, I do think that the Easter Bunny, um, just so you guys know, the Easter Bunny punch is out of stock at the moment. It comes back in May 17th. So if you want to get the stamp set, you can, you just can't get the bundle pricing, but on a $34 set, you only lose $3 and 40 cents. If you want to get the stamp set now and the punch later, uh, it does come back. It says May 17th, um, but around the bend is in stock on the ocean at this moment, lighting the way. And the other one nested friend, all of those are still at, in stock at the moment. Okay. So you guys, that's what I have for you for the monthly classes. Now, let's talk about the sweet bundle classes. So over on this side of the schedule here, um, hi, darling. There are, so the sweet bundle class, I started probably in 2018 when I thought, oh, I want to do one more class. You know, I'm like, okay, I got this monthly class under my belt and people want more. <laughs> so I'm like, well, I want to feature a set specifically. And this is where there's three options for this class. It's like when you go to McDonald's and it's like, do you want to supersize it? And so there's three different tiers of how you could purchase this class. One, you could pay for it just like the other classes. Um, this one is an $18 class or 24 if you get it mailed. It's free with a $45 order, just like the other classes. I keep them, the amounts the same to keep it simple. Um, but this one is the one that if you purchase the bundle as your RSVP for class, you also get to take advantage of the promotion that I offer, which is a half a pack of the designer paper for the next, for this one and the next one. Like usually it's a half a pack of paper, but sometimes it could be an embellishment or it could be a roll of ribbon, but there's a promotion. The sad thing about this, you guys, is that the By the Bay just went out of stock last week. Okay, I don't feel bad about that if anybody wants the promotion only because that I've been advertising and put this on my schedule back in December already. So I do one exception to the rule with the ordering and it's for the sweet bundle class. If you buy the bundle in January and the class is in April, it's okay because it is my promotional class. And I do that because for that exact reason that that bundle could be out of stock when the class is going to be happening. And I want people to be able to get the bundle early on to make sure that they're set for when the class happens. And I did have a handful of people that did purchase that bundle already between January, February, um, and up until it went out of stock last week. So just know that might be a learning curve that like, so Legendary Ride is what's coming up for April. So right now, today, if anybody wants to order the Legendary Ride bundle through me using my host code and pick the class in April, it's okay because it is the promotional offering. Um, so just know that 
The bundle I think is expected to come back in, if I'm not mistaken, around March 27th, and then the dies come back in. But right now, if you wanna buy the stamp set, you still can, that's in, in inventory. Okay, so Seaside Bay is the sweet bundle class um, for um, March. Now, I didn't tell you guys the dates, and I don't wanna confuse you by going back and telling you the dates, but you can always find the dates on my calendar or on this sheet. So by the bay is towards the end of March. It's like the 22nd and 25th for those in person. And then 23rd, it's a Thursday. Um, and these are the cards we're going to be making. Oh my gosh, they're so bluish. So go team blue on this one, you guys. I didn't hopefully disappoint team blue. So these are the four cards. Um, for this one, you need a sentiment. This is the designer series paper. There is a bird stamped here, but you could opt to not stamp the bird. And that's designer series paper. So basically a sentiment you could get by. This one, you guys, is so cool because it doesn't show it until you open it, but you've got your pearl in the inside. Um, you need a sentiment here. And the Knight of Navy is the underlying color for all these cards. So Knight of Navy ink would be an amazing color to have. Um, the shells in the background are sponged with white, um, like um, the white ink. In case you have that, you could do that. And if not, you don't have to. I'm so excited to show you this ribbon. Um, Lori Krause, my friend, does this a lot. And I finally cased it and did a card using it. Uh, this one, there's some shells stamped at the bottom and then this clamshell. And that clamshell comes from here and the shells come from here. Now, if you don't have the stamp set, what else do you have that you could use? Because what's going to happen is you're going to get a white piece of paper that's big enough for you to stamp the shell. And on this one, um, the bird. Um, and so do you have something else you could use? Um, sentiment comes from the stamp set. And um, on this one too, the sentiment comes from the stamp set. There's a little sand stamped on the bottom in like crumb cake or Sahara sand. And then the bird is colored with crumb cake and mint. So this is a very versatile class in case you don't have the stamp set. What could you use in, in lieu of the bird and the clamshell? Um, so on the inside then, we definitely used more strips of designer paper on the bottom too. So you just need sentiments primarily. I think we've got the bird here on one of them, just like that. So, so that's the sweet bundle class for the month of March. Okay. And again, at the moment, the dies are out of stock, but the stamp set is still available. Um, for, I have one card ready for you guys for the ready to ride class, which features this legendary ride set. So again, if anybody wants to buy this bundle, it's, it's currently available um, and you could sign up to get this class for free and take advantage of the promotion. You get a half a pack of the ready to ride designer paper as your gift and that would be mailed with the class. Um, thanks, Anique. <laughs> um, this is the card I have done. So I'm still in the process of designing three more cards. I have time, but this is one card just to share with you um, what we've got. Again, a very minimal stamping. You just have the sentiment legend. Uh, what is it? You are legendary. All these bike parts are die cut for you. Everything is embossed and you get the designer paper. So um, on the inside is where the bike is and then right on it's your birthday. So this one has one done. And then if you want the information about the promotion that I have, you guys, that's on the back end here of the schedule, Featured Sweet Bundle Class Promotions. Order the Seaside Bay Bundle by 315. Um, order the Legendary Ride by 412 and receive half a pack of paper and attend any of the three classes. So even in person, um, you can come. So like the thing with in person too, when it comes to ordering, I take orders at class for in-person classes, but if you choose to purchase this bundle as your RSV for class, you can purchase it early. Um, it's my perk for liking the bundle that I picked for class, yay. All right, so you guys, those are those two. All right, then, um, just so you know, I have an in-person club, um, and they make the same cards as the monthly, and that's what's here. Paper pumpkin, you guys. So if you are looking for something to do tonight, Kelly is going to be doing this paper pumpkin with you. It's called Sunshine and Smiles. Um, there's every month, Kelly does, and if she can't do it, I do it. But Kelly's my, in case you guys don't know Kelly, as if you're new, Kelly's my first cousin, my dad and her mom, our brother and sister. Uh, I started Kelly stamping in the womb. No, maybe not. Maybe she was like four or five, but her mom has always been a crafty one. And so Kelly grew up crafting and they got into card making with me way early on in 2000s. And so Kelly was a wee one. And so she's been by my side crafting with me. And um, she started helping me with my business and marketing stuff probably back in 2015. 
routine and she's been by my side basically an arm to me and sometimes a leg uh, when I need it and so she teaches she loves doing the paper pumpkin classes and so you'll see her tonight in about an hour and 10 minutes you guys so she's excited and she's ready to rock and roll it she already figured out what she's doing for her alternative card and so you guys should stay tuned for that in case you're wondering um so that is the the february kit the march kit is set for uh february uh, march 27th and for paper pumpkin you can subscribe by the 10th of the month to get the kit for the month uh, just know I do usually order between three and eight extra. Uh, and I did that this month and they are already gone. So you can see there's no paper pumpkin back there. If you see a paper pumpkin back there, that means that I have extra paper pumpkins. But for tonight's class, you guys, I, I don't have any. Um, the March kit, you guys, um, in case you're wondering, you can always you know find the date of the class and then you go to my website. So we talked about that one being March 27th. Um, you can see what it's all about by clicking on the calendar and they're celebrating their 10 year anniversary. So it's called celebrate 10 years of growth. Anybody who subscribes to, and there's Kelly, you can see her right there. Anybody who subscribes to the March paper pumpkin will get an extra stamp set in their kit. So it says one free additional stamp set, um, which includes a plant and pot builder to make plantastic projects. Um, and so I always have in here what the kit details. So it says, create nine cards, three each of three designs. It has the coordinating colors. It says it's cards, what you get in the kit and how to subscribe. Um, you can subscribe through me. Um, there's different ways, two different ways. You can buy a prepaid subscription. So let's say you love Paper Pumpkin and you want to buy a three-month subscription. I believe it's around $63. You can buy a prepaid subscription right now and get a celebration item and you get your name on the board. Okay, so on top of that, you get to pick a free class with me because your order is over $45. So there's a, there's a perk to buying prepaid subscriptions, you guys. So let's say you buy a, a six-month subscription. You get to pick two celebration items. You get your name on my board twice. So those that are doing month-to-month, -month, you're getting billed monthly. You pay X amount of dollars. Um, you can't use that monthly subscription to get free classes with me, but... If you buy a three month or more, you could get pick out a class with me on top of getting your paper pumpkin. So you're prepaying and paying that like X amount of dollars up front, but then you're not billed for the next three months. Okay. So if that's something you want to do, think about that now because through tomorrow you can earn celebration items. You can buy a, a one month prepaid code, a three month, a six month, or a 12 month. Um, if you buy a one month prepaid code at $22.50 and you add $22.50 to your order, then you still are eligible for a free class with me. Because remember, it's any amount over $45, you're eligible for a free class if you use my host code. So, all right, so that's Paper Pumpkin, you guys. So tonight and March 27th, um, if you are looking to get the March kit from me, um, make sure to let me know before the 10th because I can always subscribe for an extra kit and have you pick it up at my door or I can mail it to you if you don't want to subscribe yourself. Just know though that there's extra shipping. It's usually $7 for me to mail a pumpkin to somebody in the United States. Okay. All right. So let's move on to the next section, which is ink, paper, scissors. There are two of them coming up, one in March and one in April. They're both done. I'm so excited. Okay. So... Oh, you guys, but before we go to March and April, the Regency Park and Rainer Shack, we got to talk about the Queen Bee because that's actually, it's on my calendar for the 27th, but it's actually this Thursday, which is um, March 2nd, okay? So I'm telling you guys this because I still have about 12 kits that are available or 12 classes of this one. Um, and I'd love to move them on out of here, you guys. So it features the queen bee, and I have people that are like, I'm not so into the bees. Well, do you like butterflies? Because you could easily, if you have butterfly stamps at home, you guys could easily interchange this to be butterflies instead of bees. Um, don't think it has to be bees. These cards are very pretty just in and of themselves, and you could figure out something else to put on it very easily. So with this one, you guys, this is a product-based class. The the cost is $30 or $37 if you need it mailed to you. Um, and you get a roll of ribbon, you get a pack of embellishments, and you get a quarter pack of the designer series paper. And this one, you guys, this is the designer series paper, this flower. So this is not a stamp. So everybody should have this card. Um, this B is already die cut from you. You get the designer paper. You need something to stamp a sentiment on the outside. 
here. Like, it could be happy birthday. It could be anything you want. And primarily, I stamped a sentiment on the inside and then the B on the inside. Uh, so, and then this is, you get the white, black, and white gingham and the classic matte dots. Um, you just need markers to color this. And they could be reds, they could be blues, they could be purple, whatever you want to stamp or to color with the um, Mary Merlot. So you guys, I'm having this one on Thursday. There's plenty of kits available in case anybody reaches out and wants this yet. Please contact me. This is a fun fold. So you guys, I never glue my insides in. So that is the inside. So you will use, what happens is I teach you guys how to cut the designer series paper. Anything that is embossed comes embossed. So you already have... Like in this case, this is already embossed. Your circles are already die cut. And um, what you need to do is in class is we'll cut our designer paper as a group. And then we will just make the cards one by one like we normally do. This is a collar card. So it actually looks like a, a blouse of a lady's shirt kind of if you hold it this way. Again, if you don't have the bee, butterflies or dragonflies, anything else. Um, like here the wings are vellum and they're already die cut from you. You'll just color them purple. A sentiment here came from on the barn on the barn bundle. I'll teach you how to cut the paper like that. We got happy birthday. So we got our purple, our Mary Malo, crushed curry. And the last one is a mixture of Razzleberry and um, Coastal Cabana. And this one is, hi, Linda Hunt. Hi, Francis Rodriguez. And this is a fun fold as well. Again, if you don't have the butterfly, a bee, do you have a butterfly that is about the same size that you could put there? And that opens like that. It's a fun fold. Look at this. And then this opens down like that and then you have your inside that would get glued on the inside like that and so that that already comes embossed for you guys and and then this little flap it just like kind of tucks right under there so cool so you guys lots of queen bee left in my eyes to have 10 or 12 left going into a class is a lot <laughs> so in case anybody wants this one it is still available like if you're wanting multiple classes from me too and you're like i want this one this one and this one and they're all ready to go We'll figure out how much it is to ship them all together. All right, so then let's move on now to Regency Park. Okay, so Regency Park is the ink, paper, scissors, the ink, paper, scissors for March. It's the official March one. The Queen Bee is actually the official February one. And there are actually six cards, but I'm going to talk about these two later. So you guys, when I was designing this a weekend or two ago, I laid out all the paper, and the paper is to die for. Um, Linda Hodge, the Queen Bee stamp set. Okay, let's talk about that. The Queen Bee stamp set is not on back order. The dies are on back order, but they're supposed to be back in the week of March 13th. Okay, so that's only in two weeks. So if anybody wants this class and you really want the bee, but you're like, I don't have the stamps, well, get the class. You can always put the cards together once you get the stamp set later. Um, so that's what's awesome about these classes, you guys. You can do catch the replay and put the cards together later. Um, and so Linda Hodge wants to be one. Yay. Okay. So Linda, also follow up with um, an email. That would be awesome. I always love things written down in communication so that we can always refer back to them. But I will try to make a note as well. Okay. Um, so ink, paper, scissors, Regency Park, it was so much fun to sit and work with the paper. I ended up making six cards. The class only contains four kits, but your PDF tutorial is going to have six instructions in it. So you get two extra bonus card tutorials um, just because if you're going to be working with this paper, you're going to want to use the leftover papers that weren't used to make additional cards if you want to um, use the, the layouts to make something if you want. But so I'm going to show you the first four that come in the kit, and then I'm going to show you the extra two layouts so that you're going to see what you get. So this features Sentimental Park and Petal Park, these two stamp sets that are part of the Regency Park um, suite. Everything should be in stock. I didn't see anything that's out of stock for this. Um, this one is one of my favorites. It's I love doing a fold like this. It's like, an, like a pop-out like this. So it, sounds, it actually stands up, has an inside. Um, so this one actually does use the stamp that comes in this set right here. The die cutting will be done for you. You'll need a sentiment. Um, the ink colors that were used throughout these are navy, daffodil, petal pink. If, you're, um, if you go to my website, I have the, um, if you go to March 30th, I actually have all of the supplies listed um, that are needed for this class, like the inks and all the stamps, all that good stuff. So this is one where you get the roll of ribbon, you'll get a quarter pack of the designer paper, and you'll get the milky dots. Um, this one also is a fun fold. 
And this one, I had a cute little bow on the side. So that flips up this way and then this way. So a cute little fun fold. So two fun folds on this one already. Different. Whenever it's not a regular open close A2 card, I call it a fun fold. And then this one, you guys, all you need on this one is a sentiment. And you'll, like, that's it. And then this one, uh, again, just a sentiment. So the only flowers that really were stamped were here. Um, oh, I lied. This one right here, you guys, that actually uses the Petal Park. So you've got all these different foliages and flowers. Now, if you don't have Petal Park and don't want it, you'll get a piece of white paper and you'll be able to either stamp everything right on this white layer and then not used pop-ups, but if you'll get a little white piece of paper and you can stamp more flowers on to pop them up. So um, now those are the four kits you'll get. Now the two extra bonus tutorials you get are for this one, which also features the Petal Park stamp set there. And then another one that features some of the um, sentimental park here and then the sayings. Um, so this one also is another little bit of a different fold. So that opens like this. And then it has it like that. So, um, yeah. All right. So six tutorials for this class for the no extra. It's just I went crazy on designing. And I'm like, once you start, you can't stop with this paper. I would say it's my favorite suite in the mini catalog. And then that one, I just cut it at a little bit of a diagonal. And yeah. So that is ink, paper, scissors for the month of March, the official. Now, rain or shine is done as well. So let's grab that. Rain or Shine is playing in the rain for um, that bundle. So Regency Park stuff is in stock. Playing in the rain is not till April 27th. And these dies are slated to come back, I think, the end of March. So stamp sets available. The dies are what are out at the moment. But you can always wait until early April and get the bundle for this class and have it in time. Uh, and just so you know, though, these stamps are generally not used on the outside. The designer series paper is what was used. And here, this one's a fun fold. Again, you guys, I like to sprinkle in the fun folds when I can. So this is actually the designer series paper. So all of these cards, the critters come from the designer series paper, not actually the stamps. So if you don't like the stamp set, but you like the cards, you guys, consider getting this class because you don't have to buy this at all. Um, uh, you just have to fussy cut out your little critters. And so, oh, happy day. Now, we did use them on the inside, but you've got options. If you don't have them, you could always use whatever you want on the inside. All right, so inks on this one, I think Memento ink and any blends that you want for coloring your inside critters are all you need. Um, again, okay, we made a shaker card for you. So you've got your little loose flower. So you get your loose flowers. You'll get the balmy blue variegated ribbon and a quarter pack of the DSP. So again, that's DSP. That's DSP. You'll need something to stamp here for your sentiment. The sentiments we pulled in were from Sending Smiles because these didn't really fly for what we wanted for these cards. So love and big hugs, sunshine, sunshine to brighten your day, birthday wishes, comfort and strength. All that is from Sending Smiles. Your dies will be already, you know, all that stuff is going to be die cut for you already. Hi, Ramona. Um, all that's die cut already. So your fence is die cut, your clouds are die cut, your kite is die cut. Now your animals, again, will not be die cut. They are part of your designer paper. I do not cut them out for you. Um, but we did stamp this little dude on the inside of that one. And you can always color it with whatever blends you want. This one is a fun fold. Compliments of Sue Somerville. She sent me a card and we cased it. And you guys, this one opens. It's so fun. <laughs> Goes like this. And then you've got your inside like that. What happens is, this is a fun fold, that actually slips right in that opening and then it comes through like that. And so very, very cool, double little bow. Your bow, you guys have to make your own bows because you get a roll of ribbon. So ink, paper, scissors, and game nights, those you guys have to make your own bows, but otherwise I make your bows for you for your classes. Hi, Pauline, hi, Holly. Oh, Pauline wants the B class. Yay. Okay, Pauline, I'm writing your name down here as well. Reach out to me somehow as well so I got it documented that you want it. Um, all right, and the last card is this one. And I hate what the glare, you guys. The glare is so glary. All right, um, again, the critter is your designer series paper. You need a little sentiment. And that is just a pop-up, and it's just a traditional card. So very awesome and saucy. All right, so that, you guys, is ink, paper, scissors. I think I have 20 people signed up for this class, you guys. It's April 27th. I have it capped at 68. When it's gone, it's gone. I am not making more. So uh, that is playing in the rain for April. All right, 
So far, so good. All right, you guys are gonna flip this calendar over here and we're gonna go to Let's Just Stamp. Both of Let's Just Stamp for April and um, March are done. So I'm gonna share both with you. This one is free with an order or it's um, an, an amount. You can pay for it um, with or without shipping. It's um, 15 or 21 if you want shipped. Otherwise it's a $45 order or a 30 if you're in person. Um, Diane Bogenhagen and I design these cards together. She teaches the in-person class on Tuesday night and I do the online version on a Monday. Um, it's during the middle of the day at 1 p.m., but just know if you don't um, have time to watch it then because you're working, just you can always catch the replay. So Beauty of Friendship, there was a mishap on my end. I thought that the name of the stamp set was Beauty of the Earth, but that was officially the name of the suite that was retired. So I did call the class Beauty of Friend, um, Beauty of the Earth, <laughs> but it features the Beauty of Friendship stamp set. And we went for three different seasons, you guys. So we've got our autumn card, our spring summer card, and then our winter card. And if you don't have this set, do you have Lovely as a Tree? Do you have um, Rooted in Nature? Do you have something else that is not even tree related that you'd want to use? Because you're going to get this white piece of paper and you can, it's your, it's your color, like it's your blank canvas. You can stamp whatever you want here and here and here. Colors were crushed curry, Mary Merlot, and espresso. Here we added an olive with the espresso. And here we added in shaded spruce with the espresso and some navy. Um, yeah, so all your designer paper comes cut. Your embellishments are in it. I see I'm, I lost an embellishment. There used to be another one somewhere on there, so I got to add that back on. But yeah, this is what we have for you guys. Oh, this is, a little disclaimer, the designer series paperback here does not have these little snowflakes on them. That actually comes from this set, which is called Greatest Journey. It's got stars and snowflakes. We stamped that on the background here to make it look like snowflakes, and we stamped that in white. That is another thing. You could leave it plank and not stamp them at all as well. And then we stamped the different tree things on the inside. Hi, Hildenel. All right, so that is ink. Uh, let's just stamp for March. Now, for April, the class is called Fancy Flora, and it brings in something fancy and two-tone flora, um, you've got all your focal images here, and you've got your sentiments on this one. And so they were both used for these cards. This one is supposed to be three cards, you guys, but we're teaching a technique in this class as well. And so you get three for the you get four for the price of three. And we didn't change the pricing, and but we're get, we're doing four cards instead of three. And the reason is this one right here. So this you're gonna get. Um, two pieces of white paper and you're going to stamp. We're going to teach you how to create, it looks like design, designer series paper. You're going to stamp your focal images and then you're going to use one on one side and one on the other. And you'll get a bow on one card and then you won't for the other and you can see the difference, uh, what it looks like. And we've got the little flowers on the inside. So that is a technique we want to teach you. And then here's another one that uses, so what we did is we pulled the flowers from one set and the stamps from the other set. And here we pulled in some Hues of Happiness designer series paper, a bright, cheerful card. So you'll get this blank canvas of white paper and then a white here for a sentiment. And then this one is a little bit of a fun fold. It opens like this and like that, a little bit like this and a little bit like that. Uh, Fresh Freesia, Old Olive, Nope, I lied. I think it's Fresh Freesia and Granny Apple. And this one's Bermuda and Granny. And we've got Melon Mambo, Daffodil Delight, and Oh, Granny Apple. So those are the colors you'd need for this one in addition to navy for sentiment here. Um, black got used on that one. Uh, so this is the Let's Just Stamp for the month of April. And four cards for the price of three. Um, boom. All right, so that's the Let's Just Stamp series. All right, then... Let's, okay, games and prizes, you guys. We have a lucky hand in a game night set for the first week of April. I haven't even picked what stamp set, but in the next, like, let's say by Wednesday, I want to have the cards already designed. So I'm going to be working on that over the next couple days. Um, we do have an Easter bingo set up, you guys. It is April 3rd. Um, I think I only have a couple spots left. It's in person only. We'll be making two Easter cards. Um, it's on the radar. Um, be happy stamper team events. You guys, I don't know if I really have much besides a team meeting in March. If you're on my team, the be happy stampers, we have our meetings quarterly, big meetings quarterly. We do all the recognition and, um, 
fun and games and make and takes and um, any creative presentations. Um, we do big, big quarterly meetings <laughs> that are Zoom and in person. So it's the team meeting is set for, what is it, March 26th. And that's at four o'clock central. So if you're on my team, the Be Happy Stampers, just know that's coming up in March. Um, we have in person and it's also via Zoom and that Zoom is live streamed to Facebook. And right before that at 2.30, we have the team auction. And so anybody had the team could earn auction bucks starting on January 5th. And I have a team auction where I give away prizes like bundles and ink. I just, like, I, buy, I find Stampin' Up! product and it's all current and we just do an auction and we auction off prizes. So just know, I just sent my team a reminder about that. I think Sunday morning, yesterday morning, or it was Saturday. I can't remember. So, uh, so that team meeting is coming up. Um, mystery card nights, you guys. Oh man. You guys know the mystery card night. Uh, there is one on the books for March 20th and then April 17th. So that's what we got coming up. Um, you have until tonight in case you want to share your card from last week. Um, I will be doing the drawing on Thursday night uh, for those that shared. Um, for every 20 people, I do a prize. And so uh, just know that we'll be doing that drawing on Thursday night. Um, technique club class. That is the new class that I started doing with Rose Coleman. Um, so is, in case anybody's watching, I forgot to mention this, you guys. If you are in Canada and you are watching and you want to take my by the bay class, it's actually our by the bay class. So Rose does that one in Canada. So if you are in Canada and you want to take by the bay or legendary ride, just know that those are what's coming up for Rose's kidding. She's kidding those up in March and April. So reach out to Rose if you're in Canada and would like to take either of those classes. Just like for you guys in the U.S., Rose does a technique club class that I kit up for those in the United States. And we are featuring Sweet Citrus for the um, for the sweet or for the bundle uh, for the month of March, and then we're featuring Sentimental Park in April. Now, I don't have the physical cards, but Rose just made them, I think, over the weekend, you guys, and she just shared them with me. And I have a um, picture on my phone that I can share with you. So the featured technique is called Aqua Wash. So she's going to be doing this class um, on March 21st. I was thinking, I know it's not the 14th. It's March 21st at 1.30 Central. And... Um, let me show you the cards. They're so bright and cheerful. And I'll move my picture as we go. So she's got here, and I hope you guys can see this. So these are the three cards. So this is a club, you guys. It's a $50 order between March 1st and the 10th. It's kind of hard, like, the, like I can zoom in a little bit, but she's got limes going on and she's got the like tangerine tang. It looks like grapefruit. And then she's got one with more oranges. And so she talk, she's going to teach the aqua wash. Um, so this class is, let me show you the book I got. All right. So I bought myself this book and it's a recipe book actually. And it's the start of what you'll, if you, so some people have been doing this with, we start, I started in the States in January with Rose and she's been doing it for many years. And so her book is very full. My book is just starting. And so what you get is you get the technique card of the completed what the technique is, and then here you get the description of what it is. So in January, it was the rock and roll technique, and then last month was the twisted ribbon technique, and so then now you'll get another card with the description here, and then you just start to collect them. In addition, with every class that you do online with me, you guys, you get like a tutorial. So in this case, I've printed out the tutorials for my book here, and so you always get the pictures, you get the instructions, and you get the measurements. So this is what you get when you take a class with me, any online class, I write a tutorial. Um, so what it is now, again, is the citrus class, whoa, um, for March. And then um, in April, she's gonna be featuring masks, okay? So that is the Technique Club class. It is a $50 order. You get the card kits and the, the, the you get the both of these pieces of paper that go on your book. Um, for those in the States, you can ask me for the link. I'll send you the link if you want the same recipe binder. Otherwise, any page protectors that are four by six is what you need. Um, I don't provide the page protectors. I believe she does. But the way I did it, I'm like, oh, you guys just get your own page protectors. They're, it's easy, easy enough to get them on Amazon. And you can, if you get this book, it's like 15 bucks. You get the page protectors with it. So um, hi, Wendy, Zilly. 
from Winnipeg. Okay, so if you're in Canada and you want to do the Technique Club class with Rose as well, um, reach out to her. Um, she is adding people as well. She does hers slightly different where she does, it's 10 months consecutive and you're the hostess in one of those months where in the United States, um, once you've placed 10 orders in a row for this specific class, 10 consecutive orders using the host code, I give you a $75 um, host reward. So you can pick out $75 of whatever you want. Plus you get a half off item, but it's once you've done 10 in a row. Um, so they're kind of like the same things, but just earned at different periods. And our amounts are slightly different because she's in Canada and I'm in the United States. So our pricing is different. Um, okay. Now from this recipe book, you guys came these recipe cards. So what did we decide we're going to do with all these recipe cards? Well, we created a class, of course, right? <laughs> when you don't have enough to do, you make a class. And so I have just sent an email about this. Um, so if you guys were checking the internet or your emails yesterday and you get class um, emails from me, um, I sent this out yesterday or do, 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 what did I, well, maybe I didn't. Maybe it was even before that. No. When did I send it out? The starter kit, March monthly, online exclusives. Let's just stamp. Thanks. Well, I could have sworn that I sent it out. It's called Share, Create. Hmm. Well, I could have sworn. Maybe I have it scheduled to go. I haven't sent it yet. Okay. Regardless, it's coming soon. But um, I wanted to show you guys. So like if you get emails from me, this is what you get. You get, like I just sent about the starter kit. So I uh, created a folder just for those emails. Um, I was going to say, if you go to my website, and not that it's email, hang on, my website. And you go to, if you want to hear all about this one, the first one, they're all in the books already. I've got them from March on. If you go to the 15th, share, create, and inspire. You're going to share a recipe card. So you got to fill out the Google form. There's a form on here that says, click here to be taken to the form. You go to the Google form and it's going to ask you for information, like your email address, your name, all that good stuff. I will mail you a recipe card. And you're going to put the ingredients and instructions, your name, if it's a fun fold, what the name of the fun fold is, if it's a technique, what the name is. And you're going to mail this back to me and you're going to mail a card back to me that's in a separate envelope. And what's going to happen is I'm going to create a card based off of the recipe card in a class on March 15th at 10 a.m. So I'm going to be stamping on the fly with you guys. It's like... Who makes my heart pound just a little bit because normally I'm a lot more prepared. I like I have things always prepared, um, but I'm going to work off the recipe card. Um, I'm always going to pick some suite of products that I hope will all coordinate together. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to follow your recipe card. I'm going to cut it, it with you in class. I'm going to make it in class. And then at the end, I'm going to have my completed card and I'm going to open up your envelope and I'm going to share your card. And then we can see how different I read the recipe to what you have. <laughs> and so I'm excited. I've never, this is brand new, you guys. I haven't, I don't know what this is going to be all about, but we're going to try it. And I already have my first guinea. Um, Mary Lemke has volunteered to already fill out a recipe card. She's already got a recipe card ready to go. Um, and, um, oh, Dawn got it around 4.40 today. So, okay. So it came. Yay. Um, so Mary Lemke has already filled out her recipe card and she's already created her first card. So I've got somebody's card for March 15th. But if we want to keep this class going, um, I need somebody else to fill out the Google form and request a recipe card for me because that's what I want. I want these recipe cards filled up and I want to put them in my page protector with the completed card. So, and your card and get, and like, so what's going to happen then is it's going to be kind of like mystery night where you guys are going to, I'm having the mystery though. And I'm going to be making this card with you. And then based off of what I make and what you guys see, I'm going to give you a picture of this in the event and then you guys are going to have the opportunity to make a card as well so be inspired by let's say mary's um, recipe and then you guys can submit your cards to the event like we do for mystery card night and then i'll do a drawing because everybody loves to win prizes right so we'll do a drawing and um yeah uh we'll have winners so you sent the email today for the recipe class okay it was today i just haven't found i did i don't know oh it's in my inbox okay i was looking in my folder so Hi, Maria Gilbertson. Um, all right, so you guys have it. So if you're getting emails from me, you already saw that. Um, and if you want to have a challenge, here's the challenge, you guys. Fill out the recipe card 
and make a card for me. And what I would suggest you do is if you have a bigger size envelope like this, what you could do is put your card in, let's say there's a card, let's say you put your card in the envelope and then put that inside the bigger envelope and then put your recipe card in here like this, right? So that I get this and it shouldn't be, it's not, you know, hopefully it's not too overly thick. If it is, you might need extra postage. But when I get it, then I'll get this and I'll know not to open this um, until after class is done. And then we'll be able to compare um, our projects, okay? So I hope that you guys like this idea. This was the brainchild of our, um, I think, um, something back in January and it's coming to fruition. So cool beans and bagels. Okay, you guys. So that is not even on the list anywhere, but that will be added as I have time to get that on the calendar. Oh, you got it today. So let's see here. Let's see, yep, Cards by Christine, share a recipe, create a card and inspire others with Cards by Christine. All right, so perfect, you guys. I don't know about you, but I created a folder <laughs> and I put everything I get from Cards by Christine in my card classes folder. All right, so that is the share a recipe, create a card, inspire others. So it's kind of like on Stampin' Up's tagline, create, share, inspire. I just did it opposite, I did share, create and inspire because you guys are sharing with me first and then we're creating and then we're inspiring. Okay, so let's talk about extras that are coming up in March 1st. The one that I forgot to put on the calendar, you guys, is the Memories and More card class. It's not on the paper calendar, but it's on my Cards by Christine website. I have like 10 spots left for this and I know this class is this week. It's actually in person on Wednesday. I only have two people coming in person, so I have a very small class. Um, and... Um, I have online, I only have about 10 signed up for Friday. I prepped um, for 28. <laughs> so, um, and actually one of those is mine. And so I think I have like 12 left. So if anybody still wants to get this class, you guys, I have plenty left. Please reach out to me. I'm going to show you the cards. It's Memories and More. I was originally not going to do this Memories and More kit because I thought it was all, I love pets. You guys, I love cats. I love dogs, all that good stuff. But I was like, it was very specific, but it's not it's very universal. <laughs> and so um, I'm going to show you each of the cards. The PDF tutorial is already written. It's already gone out to people um, that are taking the class with me, but you could still get signed up. You might not get the class in time, but you could always work off of the replay. Um, it is a $50 class for porch pickup um, or 60 mailed um, because it includes the memories and more card pack. It includes the memories and more note cards and envelopes and it includes the twine and the embellishments. And so we're going to make 15 cards, you guys, I promise. We'll get it done in two and a half hours, I'm sure, um, on Friday. So, <laughs> But I'm just going to flip through these just to show you guys like what you're going to be able to do with, the, with these. So they're a memories and more card pack mixed with the note cards and envelopes and... I feel like those are out of order. It should have been like that. Cause, so I have these in the order that we are actually going to put them together. So it's just, they're fun and they're cheerful and they're bright and some are more manly, some are more feminine. There's just a good mix of, um, I just, this would be a great class to do and then give these cards as a gift to somebody. Oh shit. So, oh, I didn't mean to swear. Sorry. I just realized what I did. I didn't include the envelopes. I'm like, oh, brother. So, hmm. All right. So I know those people. I didn't mean to swear, you guys. I don't swear very much. Um, but I just realized I forgot to include five white envelopes in like Doris's and Sarah and your kits and Sherry. So I'll make a mental note to add five envelopes to their future class packages. But, and I'll add five. Well, gall darn it. I thought I was doing so good. <laughs> okay, but I'm glad I thought of it now. So if you're taking this class with me and you got your card kits already, just know I forgot to put five envelopes in your kit. So, but we can always make it work. All right, so um, you are my sunshine. So this, again, would be great if you want to gift this to somebody um, that needs cards. Um, they're so fun. So we have thank you. And then there's a thinking of you. It has stickers in here. Thank you so much. And then there's five cards that I added extra with card bases and mats and embossing because it helped to use some of the extra card mats. So it, ha it only uses a half a pack of the envelopes and a half a pack of the card pack. And you have the other half left over to make more. 
All right, so 15 cards. Oh, Deb Norman says she's never heard me swear ever. Yeah, that's probably true. <laughs> oh, man, I don't generally at all because um, there's no need for it, right? Like, I don't need to. <laughs> um, all right, so you guys, there's 15 cards, and they're all so bright and cheerful. So, again, if you want to get in on this class, you guys, I have, I have like a dozen left of this class. It does feature the greatest journey suite of products, but I never even once pulled out the stamp set. But you could use this to stamp sentiments on the inside or decorate the inside. But that is the Enjoy Today um, Memories and More card class. Then right after that, you guys, we have the Celebration Celebration. Celebration Celebration is an event that you earn. You cannot pay to get into it. Um, and I have... Um, it's set on the calendar for the first week of March. It's like the 4th, the 8th, and the 9th. It's free to my customers who place $150 in orders through me. If you are new to my team and you place your first order, I use it as a, um, a training tool to help you like learn about classes. And then um, it's free to my team members who have two new team members that joined. And I am ex so excited to say, Michelle Schultz and Penny Powell both earned spots because they had two new team members join their teams. And so they've earned a spot. You guys, we've had 21 new bees join the team since January 5th, either through me, through somebody on my team or like down, like, like it was awesome. So either a first level or a second level or third level. It's so awesome. Hi, Donna Grushki. Um, where, where is this memories and more please? It's in the mini catalog, um, Anique in the purple catalog. So it's part of the greatest journey, uh, uh sweet products. Okay. So what are we going to make at the Celebration Celebration? So you are going to get uh, an, a quarter pack of the Danny Designs paper, 10 note cards, 10 envelopes, and um, you are, I'm going to teach you how to make this book. And this is what we're going to do live also on um, the 9th. And so you open this up and it's all envelopes and it goes together to make a book. And you could put photographs in here. You could put presents in here, like gift receipt, uh, gift cards, um, anything. So we're going to teach you how to make this awesome book. Okay. So that's celebration, celebration. I just looked at the clock. We got to be done in 15 minutes because Kelly will be here. Um, then in March, you guys, I have a Leapers crafting retreat and that's full. I have 11 people that are going to be crafting here all weekend long. Um, I have no more spots. Um, small business showcase for those that are local to me. It's March 18th at the Eagles club in Fond du Lac from 9am until 2pm. If you want to sell your used stamp supplies, if you're local to me, uh, reach out to me. Um, just contact me. Here's my information. Um, I also have a stamp -a stack and it's not listed on here, but it's the Irresistible Blooms. So Stampin' Up! is coming out with online exclusives three times a year. I emailed about this yesterday as well, too. So March, July, and November. So they are the off months of, so they have new releases every like six times a year, three with catalogs and three are going to be online exclusives. And so starting on March 1st, you're going to be able to see all of the online exclusives. Um, right now there's a flyer. It's on my website. I also emailed it yesterday. I'll, I'll link to get it. Um, it's called Irresistible Blooms and it came with some paper. It came with a bundle and some embellishments. Um, Nicole Herrick. Yes, Nicole. The If you want to come back for more Stampin' Fun, the um, Memories and More class is um, Wednesday at four. Okay. So if you and your mom or just you want to come back Wednesday, I have space. Um, it's Wednesday at four. I have it set to go until 8 PM, but if you finish early and you, or if you want to be done after two hours, I have four hours because it's 15 cards. Um, but I definitely want to be done by eight at the latest. Okay. But you guys are welcome to come. Um, that would be awesome. So I'm going to flip the camera down and I'm going to show you guys some of the products that are part of um, what we could pre-buy. And just know this is going to be the stamp -a stack So this is where you can, it's going to be 15 cards, maybe 16, but definitely 15. I'm, I'm in the process of designing. I have two of them that I can show you. They're not done. One is done, but the other one's 90% done. I just started working on them this afternoon and I'm going to try to finish the other three tonight um, while Kelly's doing paper pumpkin is my plan. Um, two of them are fun folds. And so the stamp -a stack is for my team members on my team, you can get team pricing where you'll just get the card kits um, but not the product. You would need to supply your own product. And then you get the reduced price of $20 and then it's $6 extra if you want it shipped. But if you want the whole gamut, you get the pack of designer series paper, you get the embellishments and I, you get the ribbon. Um, thanks for answering that, Holly. Um, I think I had water. I don't know. 
Oh, I do. You guys, I need to drink a piece, or have a drink of water. It's been an hour and a half almost. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna show you guys the products. And at the moment, you don't even necessarily need to have the stamp set. If you wanna buy the stamp set and the bundle, you, as a, a customer, you can start purchasing this on March 1st. If you do get this bundle and you use my host code, you could use it to get a different class for free. That's super cool. But the class in and of itself, the stamp stack, includes a pack of the designer series paper, which is um, six by six. You'll also get these embellishments in your stamp stack from me. So keep that in mind. You, you'll get that. And then also you'll get, you want to come, I will message you. Perfect, Nicole, yay. Um, you'll get this, this, a roll ribbon. And I haven't decided on the ribbon officially yet. Um, and I'm even thinking about throwing in um, one each, one six by six of each of this piece of, this pack too. Um, uh, I haven't decided on the ribbon because I'm hopeful that there's a new ribbon that's coming out starting March 1st that I didn't get to see. But for now, I did design a card using the white organdy ribbon just so I could finish the card. So I woke up this morning and of course, the first thing I look at <laughs> to this morning happened to be Facebook and Demonstrator Party Planning Place came up and all of a sudden there was a card by Sue Campfield. I think Sue is her name, Susan Campfield. And it's called the Floating Seagull Card. And I'm like, Oh my goodness, this is the most amazing card I've seen since sliced bread. And so I was so drawn to the layout, you guys, that I had to make it. And this is one of your cards for um, the Stampa Stack. And it's a fun fold. And it's, you know, thanks to Susan Campfield for her inspiration. Holy Moses. Um, uh, okay, hang on, you guys. Kelly is calling. I'm going to just take it really quick because I want to make sure she's here. Hi, Kelly. I'm um, doing a live. So... I'm doing a live, just doing the showcase. I'm almost done, but I just want to make sure. Did you need anything? Um, I just wanted you to not worry. I'm not in the dip. I'm just running a little bit. Okay. Late, but I am on my way. Okay. You're, okay. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay, you guys, she's running a little bit late and that's all she wanted to tell me. <laughs> okay, so good. She's not in the ditch, <laughs> which is good. She's like, I'm not in the ditch. I'm just running a little bit late. All right, so that's always good news, right? All right, so you guys. So this stamp stack is going to be five designs and three of each, making 15 cards. Um, all right, have a good night, Anique. Um, so this one, you'll make three of these, okay? And I do have on the back, I added a spot where you can write a little, you know, stamp a sentiment and then write on the back here. So it's called the, like, flying seagull card because what Susan said is it looks like a seagull flying. <clears throat> all right, so that's one card for sure. Again, I'm not 100% what the ribbon is going to be. Um, I happened to see it this morning too. Oh yes, it was so fun, you guys. And she made like six different versions of different products. And I'm like, oh, it just, I've never just seen a card and made a card like of my own that same day. It has been a long time. Okay. This is going to be a second layout for you guys. I haven't finished it 100%, but it's also a fun fold, right? So you're going to be using that. And I have this pretty much ready to go on here, except for I ran out of that ribbon and I now I don't know if I should just wait until Wednesday to finish the card, but it's pretty much going to look like this, right? And so this is the designer series paper here and here. So you need a sentiment here. You need a sentiment. And then I stamp some of those little leaves on here. Um, this is what the bundle looks like. And I'm going to try to design it in a way that if you have flowers at home, you don't have to buy this. Okay. Um, so these are two of the cards. Um, then I feel like I left it somewhere in the house, but there's going to be three more designs using the rest of the designer series paper patterns. Um, so again, this is stamp a stack for my team. I'm still figuring out the white ribbon that you would need to have. Um, for those taking the class with me, I, I will provide the ribbon. It's part of the class registration. So this class is $55 or 65 if you want it mailed. Um, and the other thing that came out with the online exclusives are three embossing folders that you can order these starting on Wednesday. And then there's a new classic letters stamp set. And then um, Rose Coleman made a card today, you guys. It was super cool. She sent me a picture of it. You might have seen her do this too. It's she did a spring card and used the letters and used some of that glimmery paper. So you guys, Rose Coleman is so super creative. Um, you need to start following her if you don't follow her. <laughs> I am just like enamored by her. She's amazing. Um, and again, this, you guys, this is such pretty paper. I'm going to, I don't know if I opened one or not, but there's, I'm thinking about including this in your um, goodie bag with the paper and either I'm going to use, so you get 
there's silver, and then there's also one more color. There's one with gold, and then there is a brushed, uh, a blush gold, blush, blah, 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 blah. the bra, um, blushing. It's like rose gold. Okay, rose gold. That's what I was thinking of. So, all right, you guys. So that will probably be most likely part of your goodie bag as well. And I'm gonna figure out how to incorporate this paper into the designing of the next three cards. Okay. All right, so that's the stamp -a stack, you guys. Um, not done, but as soon as they're done, you know I like to share that stuff as soon as it's done. Um, April, I have a card buffet for those in person with me in first part of April. There's an order-based class in Friendly Gnomes. I've been asked about this a few times now. Um, for the Friendly Gnomes class, you guys, it's going to be order-based only. If you are familiar with what is the gold foil paper, flower paper, it looks, it's part of the new online exclusive, Stacy. Um, it's called, in case you're wondering, the name is called Naturally Gilded, and it is um, available to you as a die. Don't I think your demonstrator ended, but starting March 1st, you can get it, I think, because I don't think you carried over. Um, I don't think so. I can't remember. I don't think you did, though. Maybe you did. <laughs> if you're still a demonstrator, Stacey, you can get it now, but if you're not, um, you can get it on March 1st, which is like the day after tomorrow. Um, so if you recall, for those that have been following me since the fall, I did a soft seedling, seedlings class at the end of last quarter, and it really helped boost me to end the quarter very strong. And so after discussing this with a couple people, they're like, well, you should do something like that quarterly. And so I am going to be doing it quarterly. So the first Tuesday of the new quarter will always be a new class. Um, and this one happens to be Friendly Gnomes, uh, the gnome set. And it is um, free with an order um, in either March or up until the class is held. And it's only free with an order. And it's going to be a a regular $45 order using the host code. Um, and it just, it's to help me finish my quarter strong. You guys, I do this, um, um, big, I love to do it, but like orders help me, you know, as much as like paying for the class helps, um, I really want to get orders as well to help me um, finish my quarters strong as possible. All right, so that's um, just something I wanna bring up. There's also the Radically Retro Swap Party, you guys, that's coming up in April. We are already at 76 cards and um, I need just four, either four people to sign up for one group or two people to sign up for two groups. But once we have four more cards claimed for people to make for the swap, I'm closing it because um, it's a lot to make uh, four times 20 because there's a bunch of people that are in all groups. And I might even have people that say they don't want to do all four and then I might be able to open it up. But I got to reach out to people and tell them that we're at four groups right now for the Radically Retro Swap and then I'll close it. But with 80 cards, that's 20 times four, and I'm at 76. And so if you are on the fence about signing up for the Retro Swap Party, please get your registration in, and then just know that I'm going to be capping it once it's full. And then if people come back to me and say they don't want to do four, then I might open it up again. So just be on the alert for that. Um, we have another MS card making benefit um, the end of April that I'm going to be working on with Cheryl and with Bonnie. Uh, we're working on designing those cards, and so you'll see them soon. And there's an in-color retirement class at the end of April as well. So I kind of walked through, you guys. The showcase was supposed to be for March, but we really did walk through a lot to prep you for what's coming for March and April. Um, oh, my gosh, I forgot one thing. It's the most beautiful thing on the back counter, you guys. It is my honeybee sampler. So in dedication and remembering for my little honeybee who we lost three weeks ago tomorrow, um, I have a little honeybee sampler. And so uh, this is what it looks like. And again, it also features the queen bee. The only thing on here is the bee. Um, if you don't have the this particular bee, you could put something else there. You'll get a piece of white paper. <clears throat> the sentiment comes from the Easter Bunny set, but you'll get all the mattings. You'll also get an eighth a pack of this. It's called Perfectly Penciled. You won't just get this one sheet. You're going to get actually six sheets and you can pick and choose whichever one you want to put in it and you could use the rest to make cards or to make more samplers. Um, you'll get the banners already bannered and the circles and the die cuts already die cut. Um, and I had 23 of these frames and I think I have eight or seven accounted for. So if you need the frame, I can help accommodate at this point. Uh, the frame is a nine by nine frame. It's $8 if you can do porch pickup. For those that want it mailed, um, I'm going to, I've already, so the price is $25 for in person or 35, so $10. Um, but that is for a padded priority envelope. If anybody needs the frame, 
Um, I'm going to have to figure out the shipping to your address with um, a box because um, I'm not going to put this in a bubble mailer because the glass will most definitely break. But I could definitely put this into a box and figure out what the shipping is. And anything over the $10 is what you would just pay. So let's say it's $12. Then it's only an extra $2 to ship the frame. It's not like um, an extra, a lot extra for shipping. Um, so right now it's based off of a padded priority envelope at $10 which all the pieces fit in. Um, and then, so when you sign up, you just have to let me know if you want the frame or not. And I'm, you know, I, and once the frames are gone, they're gone, but I think I have probably 15 frames left at the moment. So um, if it saves you a trip to the store to get the frame from me, I would love for you to get the frame from me because I'm trying to, I had a 24 extra frames and here's one. So now I have 23 extra frames from a different class I did a couple years ago. And I'm like, oh, I need to, <clears throat> take advantage and use those frames up. So you guys, this is my in loving memory of Honey Bee sampler class. Also probably wasn't even on the schedule, but I think I added it now. So um, that class, you guys, is April 2nd, I think, April 3rd. It's like the first Monday in, in April. All right, so that's coming up quick. And again, so, so that's something to, to hang up in your craft room if you are so inclined. Okay. Hey, you guys, hour and a half. Okay. Um, I think that maybe covered it all. I don't know. Did I forget anything? Somebody might tell me I forgot something. But, hmm. So what I'm planning on doing over the next two days, you guys, is getting the stamp -a stack cards designed, getting the game night cards designed, getting the friendly gnomes designed, and an ad hoc class that isn't even on the calendar, but it's called Favored Flowers. Uh, it's the paper that you could get free during celebration. I am doing a stamp -a stack just for that um, paper as well. Um, and, oh, that works, Nicole, if you wanna get a frame, absolutely. I think that's what you meant. So if you wanna do that class and take the frame home with you, yes, we could definitely do that on um, Wednesday. Perfect, because then you don't have to ship it. Awesome. So, um, yeah, I don't remember. I was just, I, uh, you guys, I don't draw, draw normally draw blanks about what I was talking about, like before I answer a question, but, <laughs> um, oh yeah. So perfect. So Deb Norman just said that she'll sign up for, for, for the radically retro swap. You guys go to uh, April 16th in my calendar of events. And there is a form, a Google form that you need to fill out to sign up. And that is the only way that you can sign up. And so what I'm able to do is extract an Excel document. And then um, you get to pick if you want one group, two group, three group or all. And um, that's how you register for that. So perfect that Deb says she's going to go ahead and do that. Um, Angela Knutson said, is there a new catalog I'm missing or just online exclusives starting March 1st? There's no new catalog. The online exclusives, there will not be a catalog. Um, three times a year, they're just going to be in the online store. They're creating a separate section called online exclusives. And um, there's a flyer. The flyer is only going to be what is in the pre-order for demonstrators. And so it's not going to be part of a catalog. It's just part of online shopping. And so you guys, it's going to be on me to help make sure you guys, hi Kelly, Hello. to make sure you guys see what's in the online exclusives. Um, I'll try to figure out a way to share that information and those items with you. Um, and Nicole Herrick said she will also send a registration for the swap groups, just one or two. Yeah, perfect. If you want to pick one to get started, that's great. I'm thinking there were like 10 people that chose all groups. And if they know that it's for groups, they might back out too. So I might have more space available too. But yes, go to the event on April 16th and fill out the registration form, which would be perfect. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, with that note, you guys, I think we got through it all. Kelly's here. So she, we got to get me out of here and we're going to get her sign um, all logged in here um, to get paper pumpkins. You guys stay tuned if you are ready for paper pumpkin class. If we're not live right at six, just know it might be five after six. And so, cause I'm gonna help her get all, I gotta get all this stuff moved out and get everything situated. So, whew. all right, you guys. So I did not forget about the, uh, rain, the wreath of blooms class. I'm gonna do that one too with you guys tomorrow. So I'll be live again with you tomorrow um, to do the, the kit class that was in February. Oh, and speaking of kit classes, you guys, that's the other thing that is new on the calendar is every month I'm gonna do a special kit class with you with the featured kit that they came out with that month. And so. February was the wreath of blooms and I'll be doing that tomorrow. And then come March 1st, we're going to find out what the next kit is. And I'll be putting that into the gamut of classes with you guys. So you can see the awesome kits that Stampin' Up! is coming out with. Boop.
boop, boop, right? More live time. Yay. <laughs> All right. You guys, lots of sunshine, love, and hugs to you. I'm going to count to five, and then I'm going to end it. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your night in case you don't catch Kelly live doing Paper Pumpkin. Um, otherwise, I'll catch you tomorrow, or I'll catch you on Thursday for Queen Bee. All right. Love you a long time. One, two, three.